am just going to show you a very quick tip that I have that I always find useful. Um, it involves using your motions, your existing motions, um, that usually are for characters who are standing up and how to translate them um, to a sitting down character, to a character who is sitting down. Um, it involves using reach objects to put the character in his seat and then you just apply the motion and generally that should work pretty well. Uh, the legs might have a little bit of movement but generally you can get away with um, using this method for most of your motions. Okay, so I've got three characters here on my talk show set. I want to have them sitting down. Um, what I'm going to do first is create three uh, reach objects. Um, the objects will, uh, there'll be one for the butt and two for, well, one for each foot on a single character. Um, what I usually use for my reach objects is the box. Very simple. It's only six, six sides. Um, and so that's a, a fine way to go about it from the beginning. Uh, shrink it down to a manageable size. Eventually we're going to make it into a dummy, which will make it invisible. So you don't have to worry about what it looks like. Um, make it a little bit smaller than this. That should be good. And I'm going to put it basically where his foot is for now. And we can move it later. And then I'm going to double it by hitting control and just moving it along the, the path there. See, I've created a new one by hitting the control button. That's going to be his left foot reach target. And then I'm going to create one for his butt. So again, I'm going to hit control. I'm going to pull it up. And you can see you know, it's inside of his leg right now. But if we turn, you'll see that there, here it is. I'm going to put it down in the seat. It's a little off because it was created off of his leg, and so I'm going to pull it over to the middle. Okay, and we'll adjust these later. The, the important thing to remember about using reach targets um, is that you don't adjust the character's body parts that are attached to the reach target. You adjust the reach target itself. Okay, so we have three reach targets now. We can go over into our scene, we can name them. We'll name, uh, let's see, this would be his right foot. So we'll just call it R, reach target, right foot. R, T, R, F, left foot will be uh, reach target, left foot. And then the butt, we'll call it butt, uh, oops, sorry, reach target butt, reach target butt. I always like to have the word butt in my project just for the fun. Okay, so we're going to grab our co-host here. This is Andy Richter from the Conan O'Brien show, or some kind of version of him. I haven't added any, uh, any glasses. And it's pretty rudimentary, but that's okay. So I've got a select the character. I go down to edit the reach targets. I grab his midsection. I use the dropper, and I plop it into... The, um, the butt and he just shrank down. Now the reason for that, his feet are actually, see how he's bent his knees here, it's because his feet are actually hitting the ground. The, um, the stage is not the ground in this case, the stage is a little elevated. So grab his right foot, grab the dropper, drop it onto the foot, grab his left foot, use the dropper, and drop it there and very quickly we can see that he's already starting to look like he is positioned pretty well. He's sinking pretty deep into that, um, pretty deep into that chair. But that's okay. We'll fix that in a minute. One of the things I like to do with the feet, we're going to change this to both reach and rotation, and it changes the the foot there. And I'm going to do the same with his other foot, reach and rotation. And then I can adjust the reach target itself, and it creates a little more of a. Uh, creates a little more of a, a lock for the feet. So reach target right foot, and I'm going to rotate that reach target around. I'm going to drop it down, and then I'm going to raise it up above the board. And I'll show you one more method that's pretty good, because once we do a, a motion, you'll have the foot. Um, the foot, I forget what it's called. Um, we'll come back to it. All right, so very quickly, I'm going to adjust the left foot reach target. I spin it around, drop it down a little bit, and then pull it up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to grab the butt, and I'm going to pull him up so that he's not sitting so sunk into the chair. And you can position it as you would. 
In fact, let's let's pull these a little closer to the chair. Let's see how that works. See, there we go. That's a little better. And yeah, maybe it's a little too much. Maybe you need to adjust the chair a little bit to his seating position. He's a, a large man. Uh, so, a little more adjustments with the butt. As so. And I don't think I'm going to do this for all three of the characters right now. I think you get the idea from this particular little video. But right now, he's he's targeted in there. Um, one other thing that I might... Well, let's, let's first see what he looks like. We'll go and we'll pick out a, a, a motion for him to use any one of these. Uh, who do I like here? I'm a big fan of Chuck. Uh, Chuck has, does he have any laughing? Yeah, talking, talking's fine. Let's see what that looks like. No? All right, so he stays seated. But you can see that it's, the animation is working there in from the seated position. Now, obviously, you see the hands go through the legs. You'd have to make some adjustments in that to avoid the legs. Um, also, you could probably spread the legs out a little bit, position them as you want throughout the uh, throughout the animation. Let's try a different one. Let's try surprised. Me? What? What are you talking about? Oh my goodness. But he is seated, which is nice. So there you go. That's pretty much the method um, that I use for getting a animation that's created for standing people to um, adjust into sitting. Now, like I said, one more thing that you might do with this is we do have foot contact on. Um, that's not going to matter much. He's above the actual ground. But one thing you might do is add a cube. Let's see how much his, his feet are moving around. His feet are actually pretty solid because we turned on um, inside the reach. So I'm not actually going to worry about that for now because inside of this reach target, the key here was in using the reach object and the rotation. So in this case, the feet are pretty sturdy. Um, if I hadn't done that, watch what would happen if I turn off reach object on that foot. Let's see. Let's see if it moves around a little bit more. Yeah, that one's still fine. Let's see what if we turn off the rotation. It's weird. Didn't I just turn that off? I feel like I did. Okay. Okay. This is. Oh, that's off. And let's see if it moves at all. all right, it's still. Staying still. There have been some little glitches that we've noticed recently with the, the reach targets. Um, but that's the method that I use to convert standing animations into seated animations. And you can make little adjustments there. But yeah, um, I'm going to keep it short using reach targets to have a character seated and then use the regular animations and so forth. Hope you found that a little bit useful. Um, that's all for today. Take it easy.